Hello, I'm Kian Wormsley. I'm here to talk to you today about some more work I've been doing to integrate Connect with AutoCAD. Um, based on feedback from my last video, um, I've been working on something else to, to try another proof, proof of concept. Somebody contacted me because they're wanting to, to make use of Connect in order to capture a series of point clouds at time intervals and in, integrate them into a single into a single point cloud. So I thought I'd give that a try just to see how, how it worked and to prove you know that concept of, of work that I, that way of working with with connect data. So what I've done today is to take the the, the sample from that we saw in the last video um, and do a few things. So so this is this is the previous sample working. This is the, the command that I implemented. And it showed the um, real time input from the sensor so it showed the point cloud data a 10% of the points coming from the from the sensor it previewed inside AutoCAD it also had some uh, skeleton tracking and, and gesture gesture based stuff to actually do some drawing inside AutoCAD so I ripped that piece out for now because we're not worried about that side of things and what I've done is to to extend the the other side of it the point cloud capture side to allow you to capture a sequence of, of point clouds over a period of time with a delay in between each one. It's like kind of like a time-lapse uh, point cloud uh, capture process. Um, but also because you're capturing a lot of points, I mean here in theory you could be having up to about 300,000 points. Um, now because that's a lot of points if you multiply that out by, by 20 frames or whatever it is you're working on, um, it's it seemed more appropriate in this case to implement some capability to limit the volume of points that are coming in so we've also done that so let's cancel this this command and and first of all I'll bring up a layer inside AutoCAD which has uh, just a standard box uh, which is defining our um, our volume of, of, the, of the points that we want to, to, to capture and it'll just ignore everything else that, that, that comes outside there. So let's um, let's run our, our next new command which is kin bounds and this is, and allows us to select this box to define the bounding box for our operation. So we do that and then next there's another connect command called kin snaps. Now this is just going to take this series of, of snapshots from the connect sensor. The first thing it does when we're um, when we launch this command is to ask us how many captures do we want? You know, do we want five? Do we want twenty? In this case, we'll, we'll just stick to five for now. The other thing it asks is then the delay between each each snapshot, which allows you to modify it. In theory, sort of, you could you could take a, a series of snapshots of yourself walking across screen. Uh, and 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 it should work okay. You'd, you'd probably have a very small delay at this point. Here, I'm going to stick to my five-second delay between each one, in order to allow me to sort of, you know, get get in a position that that, that I feel is is worth capturing. So let's see. Um, go now and select that standard five, and then I'll step back. So you can see that it's already limiting the the capture. Now it changes color every time I, I, I change the the I do actually perform a capture. So I'm just going to do a se series of of poses here with my arms in different places. Now you could kind of say you know say it looks a bit like a, some sort of character out of Tolkien or, or maybe even well let's say a Hindu god for that matter. We'll see how that works. Um, and then it should be capturing everything. You can see I've chosen a different color each time I've done a snapshot just to sort of show the 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 difference there. And now let's see. It's going to go through the process of, of bringing in that point cloud, the, the more detailed point cloud once again. In this case, it's um, it's taking less points than it would have done, of course, if I was I was taking the full scene, um, but there's still quite a lot of points because we're multiplying the number of a number of point clouds that we're collecting. So let's take a look. We can see there, you know, we've we've successfully kind of clipped our our point cloud with our bounding box. We can of course just sort of, you know, turn that off without any difficulty. Just if we want to see the point cloud itself. Um, now you can you may see a little bit of a, an, an issue here, and I think this is because it was taking my um, 
taking the snapshot as I was moving. And, and I think there is some slight lag between the RGB data and the depth data. So sometimes it doesn't align perfectly. And that's something to be aware of. Certainly depends on the on your choice of or it will affect your choice of driver, affect how you use um, the particular middleware component that you're choosing to, to, to access the points or the driver to, to access the points. So that is, is, is definitely something to think about depending on what it is that, that you're doing. Um, it is my hope that when you, we actually get the, the, the Microsoft driver in a couple of weeks in theory, um, it, it should be possible to, to, to get the data at real time um, in a way that is is reliable um, and synchronized in terms of depth and and uh, RGB information. Right. Well, that's all I wanted to show you today. Thank you very much for for watching. Um, if you are interested in seeing more, once again, contact me via my blog. You'll find the the link inside the uh, inside the the comments. Well, you know, by the comment section in in YouTube. Uh, or send me an email. You'll also so find my email address on my blog. So thank you very much, and goodbye.